it's always been the case that uh, black South Africans should be in a position to tell their own stories about their own culture, their own condition, and that indeed that, that black and white South Africans should be able jointly to come together and look at their own background, their own culture, and tell uh, their stories in a uniquely South African way, and to, by jointly telling these stories, come to a joint truth. It wasn't quite there, but uh, uh, it's impossible for anyone to sit anywhere and define what aesthetically post-apartheid culture is going to look like. Uh, certainly, I agree with those people who s who have said that uh, there does need to be more to South African culture, whether it's theatre or film or whatever. Um, than the thing that became internationally renowned, which was protest theatre, protest culture, which certainly had its own limitations, pro protest poetry and so on. Um, we will have to try and find a way of finding a new language in which to speak, a less confrontational language, or perhaps a language that confronts different things in a different way. Uh, it's not no longer the straightforward black and white confrontation, you know. Um, that we would have to deal in. What has always been true, and what remains true, is that it is very important and will become extremely important that black South Africans are given the possibility of articulating their own stories, articulating their own history, their own background, their own culture, their own world view, and what their place is in it. And that by this articulation, and indeed by sharing that articulation with white creative people who work in the same territory, a new vision of what South Africa is about, a new idea of what its history is about, and what the meaning of its history is, can come about. Uh, it'll be possible, hopefully, to come up with a different kind of joint truth about South Africa so that we are showing the way towards living in a new environment. <laughs>